sounded like a very challenging career for me, so uh, I thought it'd be quite good to learn new experiences around about the world and uh, see different places. I didn't know anything about the RFA before I joined up. Um, it was just something that I thought, well, it seems like a good opportunity. Why not try? Seven Victor Whiskey, this is nine years from time. Okay? The RFA is the Royal Fleet Auxiliary and we are a, an, an organisation that is civilian manned but an integral part of the Navy. We supply them with fuel, uh, food, ammunition and in the case of this ship uh, supporting the Royal Marines by transporting them to their area of operations, their vehicles and their landing craft as well. It's not just like a normal shipping job in a normal commercial company, there is a lot more to the RFA than meets the eye I would say. My main job on the ship is a weapons maintenance officer, so uh, anything the ship's at sea, there is a, a live threat out there for terrorism and things like that, so we have to have guns mounted in case we're attacked at any point in time. Our weapons are only for self-defence, we are not an offensive unit. So we are there to provide that support and we can defend ourselves with the weapons that we have, but we're certainly not uh, an offensive unit. Although my primary role on board here is the weapons maintainer officer, I still have to do a little bit of engine room time as well, especially if there's any breakdowns or any problems arrive through the, the night during the watches or whatever. Within the communications department as a whole, we have to have a, quite a lot of interaction with the Navy of setting up of circuits for um, exercises. We tend to be able to liaise with the people who do the similar job, the CIS branch within the Navy. My people undertake many of the jobs that their counterparts in the Royal Navy undertake and a high proportion of those personnel have undertaken naval courses in the various naval establishments around the UK, Collingwood, Raleigh, uh, Sultan. Communications uh, within the RFA, they have to do their training at Collingwood, which is, which is where the Navy do their communications training as well. So from day one you're working quite closely with the Royal Navy and you do have that information there. Anywhere in the world that the Navy is operating, the RFA will always be with them, ensuring that they can do what they're there to do. We have um, helicopter support ships, we've got uh, the, the LSDs which provide the support to the amphibious task group and we have our tankers, our store ships, our, um, our ammunition ships all uh, um, provide that vital support that the Navy needs. One minute we're doing amphibious ops, the next minute we could be doing something completely different. Without the RFA the Navy I think would find its ability to undertake the activities that are required would be very difficult. Without the RFA there wouldn't be a Navy and without the Navy there wouldn't be an RFA.